Well, howdy, folks. It's John Pella. Um, I, uh, I had uh, decided on the theme of this one, and I decided to do just a little bit of research on it before I delve into it. In doing so, I found that uh, uh, in the United States, there are something over 200 Christian denominations with literally thousands and thousands of congregations uh, that, that are in those denominations, from Pentecostal to Christian to Methodist to Baptist, etc. In addition to that, research says that there are over 44,000 non-denominational congregations with an estimated 21 million ad adherents to those churches. Now, I think somewhere included in that uh, 44,000 non-denominational non churches are something over 5,000 cowboy churches, uh, 200 of which are in Texas. Uh, Reed and I have been to, to some of the cowboy churches, both here and in, in, uh, locally in the, in the state and and uh, in other states and have found them to be quite uh, fulfilling, but uh, we uh, certainly not anything like what we found here at First Christian. But uh, they, do, uh, they do feel a need. They do feel a, 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 a very important uh, part of uh, people's lives. We went to one out in New Mexico and I came back and wrote this poem called The Cowboy Church. Everywhere you go, it just seems to be so they're nestled deep in the woods. Neath a wooden cross, a rail to tie your hoss, and a church preaching the news that's good. Cowboy churches far and near with voices clear are preaching good news to all. They're reaching folks of the land and offering up a hand, and over and over and over they're hearing the call. They're sweeping the nation. They're a religious sensation, these churches deep in the wild wood throwing down a rope and offering hope to those that need to hear the news, it's good. There's no fancy pulpit, but I submit the old cedar log one will do just fine. It's the message that's told that'll save your soul and keep your steps in line. Now you'll enjoy the songs, you'll sing right along. They're old with old shaped notes. I love it so, it's get up and go and you'll sing till you wear out your throat. These folks don't dress just to impress. It's cowboy boots and bonnets and hats. But they're clean and neat from head to feet, and they come to worship, and that's that. If you're going for show, it's not here you ought to go. These folks are here just to praise the Lord. Their love for him is sincere, and that's why they're here to sing and pray and study the word. And when God opens your eyes and you want to be baptized, the baptistry is a galvanized stock tank. Don't matter what's in it, folks, when God saves you from sin, just get in, go under, and come up with thanks. So if you're looking for a place that'll put a smile on your face and put you right in the catbird's perch, head on down to that place right outside of town and worship with all of us at the Cowboy Church. Regardless of uh, how you practice, how you worship, where you worship, who you worship with, it's important to, to be in connection with people uh, uh, to stay. And uh, we, uh, we encourage you to, to come. We invite you to come. Uh, but if, uh, if uh, you find yourself more in tune with uh, a, a church that uh, we've described here in this poem, uh, go there. Thanks a lot, folks, for watching, and uh, just uh, stay with us, and we'll see you next time. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.